I'm Norm Dreger. I'm the head of Cereals for North America for Syngenta. And Cereals business for us is, is largely focused on wheat. I think most people have heard of Syngenta from, because of our seed care and crop chemistry portfolios, whether it be herbicides, fungicides, etc. Uh, desiccants like Regalum, doing research on for Canada specifically for the last 40 some years is wheat genetics, wheat varieties themselves. And people don't know that because it takes an awful long time to get a breeding program up and running. So we're bringing up materials from the northern states. We uh, eventually got to a point where we could you know, afford to put our own Canadian breeding uh, team in place. And like I say, it's been uh, building for four decades. Varieties that are in the market now, like WR859, SY985, there's a new one called SY433. We were at a, a point where, you know, you would get a new product maybe every three, four, five years. And now we're at a point where we're quickly going to be getting two varieties a year. So the portfolio is building up very quickly and we are now branding it as Syngenta product as well, which we didn't previously do. So we've got pretty rich portfolio of genetics, access to germplasm from around the world because we are the number one wheat breeder and pri private uh, wheat breeder globally. And uh, we pump a lot of research uh, effort into it here in Canada, introducing uh, couple new varieties in Canada every year and have over a hundred varieties in North America. We've been uh, investing in Canada for decades in terms of wheat genetics and but just recently would farmers start recognizing because we've been branding it Syngenta and our, our uh, breeding program is, is really starting to bear fruit. Um, the reason that we're investing so heavily in wheat, it's, it's a large crop, it uh, is one that requires a, a lot of investment because it has lag behind some of the others. But North America, and particularly Western Canada, has become a lot more attractive in, in recent years for investment. There's a uh, fair bit of work going on to improve and streamline the varietal registration system which allows us to get products to market not only more quickly but in a more predictable way. We know that if we generate certain data and it's favorable and we're ticking the boxes, we should get that product to market. So it's more a, a more predictable investment. There's also, we're close to getting some new intellectual property rights in Canada. And fingers crossed they'll be coming through shortly. So you can get something to market quicker. And when you get it to market, you know that you're going to be able to protect your intellectual property. We're also working with some industry groups and, and others to explore better ways to extract value as well. Create the value and then share it with farmers and, and other partners and figure out how we can do that. So. I think of it as a three-legged stool with uh, the varietal registration, uh, intellectual property rights, and different business models and way to, to bring product to market. And all of that's happening right now in Canada, which makes it a pretty attractive place to be investing in wheat breeding. So if a Western Canadian farmer has been doing business with Syngenta, and I would hope there's not too many that wouldn't have done some level of business with us, we would really, really appreciate doing uh, cereal seed business with them as well. We've recently entered the canola seed uh, business. We're in the soybean seed business. So I think they'll find that Syngenta is a significant player in Western Canada in seed. We're the leading private uh, cereal seed wheat breeder uh, as well, also launching a barley variety, uh, working towards uh, malt acceptance right now. So a very full portfolio on the genetic side to nicely complement the seed care and uh, the crop protection uh, portfolio they're probably already familiar with. So talk to your Syngenta rec, uh, rep to check out the website, come visit us at trade shows and we'd, we'd love to explain um, more about our portfolio to you. This video is brought to you by farms.com.